Welcome to week nine of the NFL season and the FanDuel hurry up. I am Brandon Gadula. I'm the managing editor at numberfire.com, and I'm going to be breaking down my three favorite stacks for the week nine main slate. The first one is a high salary stack with Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill, but there just aren't a lot of teams in position to dominate the scoreboard this week. And no matter what you think about Mahomes this season, he's been awesome statistically. His passing net expected points per dropback, which is number fire's efficiency metric, is a 0.20. The NFL average is a 0.13. This does account for turnovers. And overall, Mahomes has the same opponent adjusted efficiency as Josh Allen. Nobody seems to be too worried about Josh Allen right now. Teams are blanketing the Chiefs downfield. They're not blitzing as much as they have in the past against Mahomes, but we're starting to see a little bit of a philosophy shift for this offense. That includes just peppering Tyree Kill. He had an 18 target game uh, with plenty of high leverage looks still. Three downfield targets, three red zone targets, two end zone targets last week. Green Bay is bottom 10 in passing success rate allowed on short targets, and they're just average against the deep ball. My second stack for the week is Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. Prescott is trending toward a full go for week nine, and we should take note for a matchup with the Broncos, who just traded superstar Von Miller. Prescott trails only Matthew Stafford in adjusted passing net expected points per drop back this season. He enters the week with an applied team total of 29.5, trailing only the Bills against the Jaguars. You have an unconventional stack available to you with Prescott and running back Ezekiel Elliott, which I love, but for a more traditional route, we can look to CD Lamb. Lamb, excluding last week's game with Cooper Rush at quarterback, leads the team with a 23% target share and a 31% air yard share, giving proper weight to his workload. Lamb's 8.2 targets per game in this sample are worth the equivalent of about 10.3 due, due to the downfield, red zone, and end zone work that he sees. And the Broncos just uh, 26th in opponent-adjusted Fandle points per target, allowed to receivers on the season. My third stack is a stack with a high salary quarterback, but a value receiver, and that's Lamar Jackson and Rashad Bateman. Jackson comes in with still a great salary, honestly, at 8,300. He's playing in a great game against the Vikings, and my simulations have him 53% likely to get to at least 25 FanDuel points. Only three quarterbacks in total are at 35% or better. That's Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, and Patrick Mahomes, and 10 are above 20%. It's not really the best week, even though we have options, to punt well, with a whole lot of confidence at quarterback because we have a lot of big names available. Lamar plus Bateman makes for the best 90th percentile value stack in my simulations for the week. In his two games, Bateman has a 64% snap rate and a 64% route rate. Uh, the rookie just had a buy to get even more acclimated to the offense, and even with a lot of bunny targets in his opener, his average depth of target is up to 9.9. .9. Minnesota is top five against running backs and tight ends, but 18th against receivers in adjusted FanDuel points per target allowed. That'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks for the week. Best of luck in week nine. Let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday. Mm -hmm.